This is part 2 of the image process based bot building. I will talk about improving stability and robustness. There are 5 techniques you can use here. 1. Adding the verification operations. 2. Adding more delays when screen transition happens. 3. Building a retry sequence in case the first attempt fails. 4. Adding an error reporting step. And 5. Using wildcard with properties like app names and titles to cope with dynamic changes there. Now let's open Stu. As you may remember, this is the bot that we built together in part 1 of image-based video. Let me give you a quick recap here. This, run program, starts Chrome, and it's going to open Yahoo Finance's top page. Here, I'm looking for a specific image to locate the search text box, and I type Apple Incorporated, then, hit return to get the result screen showing the stock price of Apple. I'm now looking for another image to locate this price, which I will copy to my clipboard. Then, I start the notepad and paste the price. Now these two operations are image-based. I'm going to stabilize these two operations by adding verification operations, which will be the, image match. Simply drag and drop this image match tool, then set the identical parameter to the locate image that follows, meaning, you capture the same screen. Then, you define the same target image, and the same search area. In fact, there is a much easier way to do this. So let me show it to you. Let's first delete this image match we just added. Okay, from here, what you need to do is to right click on this locate image and duplicate it like this, to get the same identical locate image back to back on the timeline. Now, go to the one on top and change this action to verification. Then, change here by selecting image match. By clicking anywhere in the timeline, you will have one image match with identical parameters, with the following locate image. Just like all these tools in the verification group, image match is a decision-making tool. It waits for a certain amount of time, and it returns either success or failure as to the conditions you have defined. This specific image match will look for this target image in this search area, and as soon as it finds the target image, it returns success. As you can see here, success result is set to proceed, so the bot will move on to the following locate image where it's going to perform the mouse action as defined. I set the timeout here to 20 seconds, which means that if the target image is not found in 20 seconds, the image match will return failure. Okay, now I will do the same thing to this locate image. First, I right-click to duplicate it and select the top one, then I convert action to verification, and then to image match, like so. Now, I have another screen transition here. It is this run program that is set to start notepad. I can use image match here too, but instead I would like to show you technique number 2 which is to add delay. As you can see here, it says half a second is default delay. How about I give 2 seconds of delay instead? Like so. Delay can be used in other places too. For example, on the Yahoo Finance screen, it has many dynamic components like advertisement, which can take more time to show up. For them, I can give more delays like 3 seconds. I will do the same for this one. It already has 2 seconds, but I will give it 3 seconds of force delay, like so. Next is technique number 3 which is, retry. Like I mentioned earlier, image match is a decision making tool, so you get either success or failure as its output. Retry means, that in case of failure, we can set it to try again. So in this simple example, I can set this failure parameter here to jump to operation, and to the operation number 1 like this. Now, these red arrows show up like this, indicating my action when image match reports failure. It goes right back up to run program. Then after 20 more seconds, it fails again and will run program one more time. Again, this is a simple example but actually not a very practical one, because you just built yourself an infinite loop. Although we have this, scenario timeout here so it would stop after 1-2 minutes. Nevertheless, when you build a retry step, you should add a counter feature using tools like Simple Counter, so that the software gets out of the loop after a certain number of retries. Next, let's build an error reporting step. I add one more step. 
a new step appears. Let's name this, error reporting. Usually, an error reporting step includes some kind of log keeping features, as well as messaging tools like send email. In this case, I would like to make it much simpler. Instead of send email, I'm going to just bring in beep and a dialogue. And, at this dialogue, it's going to open up a pop-up and my messages will say error. A very simple error reporting step. Now, I come back to the main step, and come to this image match over here. Then, in case of failure, do not just stop but let's go to the error reporting step like this. The indicator shows up like this. Now, there's something very important here. Please remember that PAM will execute all the steps sequentially. So after executing this delay operation here, it's going to go to step number 2, and execute beep, and dialogue anyway, even after successful execution. To block this, I just bring in an end of scenario, where you want to end your automation execution, which is right here at the bottom of your main step. This way, PAM stops right here, when all operations are successfully executed. Finally, technique number 5 is a use of wildcard. This one is very useful, as tools like Locate Image are using images for its primary navigation guides, but they also use these properties right here, like app names and titles. Use of properties improve accuracy and robustness of your automation. No question. However the tricky part of it is that they can change dynamically to push your automation off the track. A great example, is this app title here, where you see the word Apple as part of it. This can immediately change next time you look up some other company and your automation will be lost and fail. This is when you can use the wildcard. After studying both app name and title, you can determine that Yahoo, Yahoo Finance, Google Chrome that's pretty static. Therefore, you just need to grab the rest and replace with an asterisk, like so. Likewise, Image Match also has the properties over here. Again, replacing this part with an asterisk will do the wildcard trick. There. I have integrated into this bot all these 5 techniques and now let me run it.